r slash relationships. PM Mirabnormal Nose says. Before we were officially exclusive, but after we'd had a couple of magical dates, my M29, current girlfriend, F24, of 3.5. Months slept with a friend of hers, and separately had an MFM threesome. How should I feel? My girlfriend Alice, and I had a whirlwind romance and immediately fell for one another. Honestly, it was such a breath of fresh air, I have been dating a certain type of girl for so long, and she was so different and friendly, to meet someone I had such an instant connection with who also had all my hobbies, and gave me all the best, healthy feedback was amazing. My previous relationships have been toxic or just dumb, like I was killing time with them. I was immediately in love, and really pursued her. Our first date was like meeting the person I'd waited my whole life for, and our second date I pulled all the moves, and spent money on a museum and dinner, I felt like we had a very serious connection right away, we spent the whole afternoon slash evening together. She felt the same I thought, and gave me every impression, and put in effort which I thought, was undeniable genuine interest. Our relationship has been incredibly lovely, sexually and emotionally fulfilling, and supportive regarding the title, she was honest with me, that she'd had a recent threesome, and that she saw an old fling after we'd met, but I assumed, tbh I didn't ask for details, that the threesome was before we met, and that the old fling was a mistake, and was able, to not think about it so much. Frankly, her previous sexual history is not my business, and I'm frankly glad, that she has experience. It makes our sex much better. However, we were discussing the other night and I asked for more details, and she said that both incidents occurred after we'd met. The fling came over the night after our third date, which frankly I feel humiliated about because I had some performance anxiety with a new partner and wasn't on my game, so it feels like she had him over cause I wasn't pleasing enough. The threesome happened after that during a trip she took where the whole time I was missing her, and we texted romantically and sexually. I miss you s, and I hope you're having a great time, I was thinking about your yada yada when she returned, it felt like she never left, and I, we, continued to fall in love. She very rapidly asked if we could be exclusive, as she felt she didn't have the capacity to be with me, unless I were willing to commit this way. I had absolutely no problem with this, since as far as I was concerned I already was, I was totally infatuated, I couldn't imagine sleeping with someone else at this stage, and it seemed a good assurance, to make to her, that we could be committed. However, with this new knowledge, all the magic of our first few dates is gone for me. I feel like she was trying to lock me down, after getting in a couple of cheap thrills first. I feel like an absolute fool for fawning over her, while she was texting with these guys setting up plans, and although she was honest about the actual hookups, I feel she's been incompletely honest regarding the timing of it all. I scrolled. Back in some of our conversations and pictures exchanged, and I'm fairly certain she sent me pictures of herself which she also likely sent to the other men. It all just makes me sick to my stomach. I can't get it out of my head. She's been faithful since our exclusivity conversation, and she is a sweet, nice girl who's been so so supportive and nurturing. Until yesterday I was sure that I was totally in love with this woman. She's been amazingly supportive, and we have so much in common, I'm planning to introduce her to my parents in a few weeks. I love her laugh, her jokes, the way she takes care of me, and the people in her life. I was looking forward to us living together, but now even though she technically hasn't been dishonest or unfaithful, it's like all the magic of our relationship is gone. Previously I was ravenous, and couldn't wait to be touched by her, and now the thought of being sexual with her feels so dirty. I can't get over the fact that she didn't technically do anything wrong, and yet I can't get this bug out of my brain. I have another problem, I have had an incredibly emotional week regarding work and my friendships, which is a whole other story, but I can't tell if I'm overreacting and shooting myself in the foot, or if I'm totally valid in feeling wronged. So, how should I feel? How can I get over this? 
Do I go nuclear and break up? To long. Didn't read. My new girlfriend, whom I developed a deep romantic connection with very quickly, slept with three men. After we'd met during a period of time that wasn't defined as exclusive, but when I felt committed. I can't get over it, because we had been texting romantically at the same time and all the magic of those memories are ruined for me. I'm sick to my stomach and I asked her to move in with me recently. I need to figure out how to get over this, or move on from her, even though she hasn't done anything wrong. Fakid Entity 256 says. How should you feel, is not as important as how do you feel. From an objective point of view she did nothing wrong. I mean that's why people have the exclusive talk right. The assumption is that you are not exclusive until you agree to be exclusive. And you don't owe people you're seeing the gory details of what you're doing with other people you're also seeing during that phase. That being said, you can get the Ike for whatever reason. Whether it's about the timing and nature of a person's previous relationships or the fact that she eats her foot skin. It's valid and only you can decide whether the relationship is worth keeping. You wouldn't be the bad guy for ending it, just like she wasn't the bad girl for having those encounters. And Amorphic says. I guess those dates weren't as magical as you thought. Zelausidial fail 621 says. I can't blame you. The fact you were feeling something, and she was being romantic even as she was having threesomes and friends thing s in her just shows you early on you can't trust what you're feeling or what she's saying i don't see how you can recover from that even if you wanted to i could never see her as endgame at that point independenza hall 525 says red flags all over the place had he know this occurred shortly after that incident he likely would have ditched her and i think he would be right that's insane attention seeking behavior and just screams red flag. Difficult visual 7862 says. Do talk to her. And dump her, you found one, you'll find another one. People ain't rare Pokemon cards. There's really a frick, I'm bunch of us in this world, and there's no eunuch. You'll find another one that probably won't get someone else in her bed a couple of hours after you. Do keep us updated though, I'm really curious of how she'll try to downplay it, gaslight you, justify herself, or all three at once, do yourself a favor, and don't fall for that. You're not safe in that relationship, run. Nice says. As someone who has made the mistake of assuming exclusivity a few times, I feel your pain. But I've also learned I have a responsibility to ask for it, if that's what I'm looking for. It could very well be that this new girlfriend of yours has been in your shoes and figured she should keep her options open since you didn't seem to be needing or wanting exclusivity at the beginning. She's also quite young. I feel like she was trying to lock me down after getting in a couple of cheap thrills first. That's a story you are telling yourself. Objectively, it's not necessarily true. If you are both ready for a committed relationship now, then I hope you can see past her behavior and not throw out a relationship that otherwise meant a lot to you. Come back it says. Nuclear isn't breaking up. It's the logical solution. Pine Gap 96 says. I mean she technically didn't do anything wrong, but I couldn't be with her after finding out this information. If she was really feeling you that much from the beginning, she wouldn't have, frick, ed three other dudes after meeting you. She's a single woman and free to sleep around, nothing wrong with that, but when I like someone, and am being romantic, and talking to them regularly point an. I'm actively pursuing them, even if we aren't exclusive I will stay loyal to them during that time, because that's how I feel, and I want someone who shares that same value. F50C13T1 says. Not sure you'll ever be able to clear that image of her getting railed while the relationship was starting. I don't know if you'll be able to move on through that. Things aren't off a good start unfortunately. Regardless of the technicality, I would say that was disrespectful. Good luck. Aggressive Cake 4822 says. Yeah this is 
Frick edition. Yes she was wrong. Texting I miss you, and thinking about you implies exclusivity and only a weasel suggest otherwise. Even after a third date, she should have said something, if she was going to continue to mess around. Someone who truly cares about you will remove the grey area not revel in it. It's too early, cut your losses and find someone with better values. Clever Thunder Kitty says. I have been dating a certain type of girl for so long. And she was so different and friendly, to meet someone I had such an instant connection with who also had all my hobbies, and gave me all the best, healthy feedback was amazing. She is unabashedly the person you fell for. That woman sounds confident, sexually open and thoughtful. It is hard to discern from your post, whether she was actually a bit dishonest about the timing when telling you about these other flings, or if it just feels that way, based on much you were pining after her in those first few weeks. I feel like she was trying to lock me down, after getting in a couple of cheap thrills first. I wouldn't want to stay with someone who thought this of me. It sounds like she was casually dating. Met you, you fell hard for her right away, and she was feeling serious about you by the third date, and initiated the exclusivity talk. You are hurt, that she wasn't pining for you the same way you were pining for her at the start of things. Only you can decide, if you can let it go and move forward, based on how things are now. But if you're just going to hang on to it, and let it color your relationship then do yourselves both a favor and break up. Numerous Landscape 16 says. Long comment but I put a lot of thought into this advice, so I hope you read Opus. It sounds like you're very conflicted. It sounds like overall your relationship has been positive and fulfilling, but this new information stirs up some doubts about her feelings towards you, especially in the beginning of the relationship. I think it's important to remember that everyone experiences romantic and sexual attraction differently. I'm not talking about who you're attracted to gay slash straight slash etc. I'm talking about how you experience attraction. Some people can have sex with little to emotional attachment, some people need a deep connection first. Some people need something in between like just enjoying that person's company, but don't necessarily have deeper feelings. Romantic attraction could go hand in hand with someone's sexual attraction, like you need to have strong feelings and a sense of commitment, in order to feel sexually attracted to them, but it doesn't have to. Some people's romantic feelings come easy, but the love and deeper connection comes later. Some people fall fast, some people may start to develop romantic feelings that grow deeper, but reflect and check in with themselves as it's happening, and ask questions to themselves like, do I want a relationship right now? Will this person treat me well? Are we compatible long term? That being said, it's very possible for strong romantic feelings, to develop with one person and still be sexually active or r slash relationships score spare says i want to break up but feel guilty my boyfriend 29 slash m and i 26 slash f have been dating for two years i have reached a stage right now in my relationship where i have mentally checked out and nothing related to my relationship excites me i have been thinking of breaking up for about 1.5 months now because i feel like we are not compatible he finds my wants and needs as demands, and just wants to do sports activities he enjoys. I'm so sick, and tired of that. Also, I do not feel emotionally connected to him in any way, because he never let me in properly. Another thing, our intimacy levels are non-existent, and I have started thinking how my life would be like with another partner. I have previously mentioned the issues of intimacy, and not feeling loved couple times before, and he says he will try working on it, but I see no change. However, I keep feeling this guilt inside me for thinking of leaving him, because when we are on the phone he is making all these plans to hang out and watch movies. I feel like, if I leave him, he will have no one to hang out with, and he will spiral into depression. Also, the thought that I might be leaving a potentially sweet guy, and will never find anyone else is also stopping me. I don't know what to do. We are meeting up this Saturday to talk, and my gut feeling says to break up, 
but what if he says he will change? Too long. Didn't read, I want to break up with my boyfriend of 2 years, but feel guilty that I'm leaving a sweet guy and blindsiding him with this. Soli says. That's where I'm at too. We are engaged and have been together for 7 years. I just think we've grown apart but I know, because he's told me that he would spiral. Evening Magician 850 says. Don't be me, and wait another two years before finally pulling the plug. I threatened breaking up two years ago, and long story short I gave him a lot more chances. Nothing changed. And now I wish I could have those two years back. Him spiraling, while really sad to think about, is not your problem. The relationship is your problem. Lucily2794 says. This is how I felt about my ex, but I didn't realize, until it was too late, and I'd fallen for a colleague at work. I ended up hurting my ex badly, and if I'd just broken up with him earlier I would have saved us both heartache. Do it now, rather than later down the line. Imfatguy245 says. As the guy who said he would fix slash change, and didn't and then eventually did, you might have to leave him. I will say, sometimes though, whatever you want changed or fixed, he may be doing something, it just might not be what you exactly want. So like when you say you don't wanna do sports, what do you wanna do? Does he know? Cause my last partner was like that, she didn't wanna play games, but she didn't have anything else she wanted to do but stay in. But she got upset I didn't do anything else. So since I don't know your full situation, I recommend leaving with what you've given us. He won't change immediately, he won't change, unless he truly thinks and believes you would leave him. We get comfortable in you being satisfied with I'll change, and we change for a week and go back, it's a cycle. So maybe don't leave him, but pull away. And then to not be emotionally connected is willed, however you can't make someone open up completely. That takes their own pace, and if that leaves a disconnect that you need, he may not be for you. I hope him not sounding like an asshole, but it's just how some things go. Hope all goes well Jerly. Skektus says. Staying in the relationship, because you feel guilty is not fair to you or to him. You'd be in the relationship for the wrong reasons. I was in a similar situation, and it took me months to internalize that. However, it is the truth. It'll be better for both of you in the long term. Staying will only cause you to resent each other. Chill Wisdom says. People wait for 10 years for somebody to change. You've already seen in 2 years that he's not changing. Save yourself some time. Bibadidoop says. 1. Potentially sweet guy too. He might not have anyone else to hang out with if I leave. And so you'll hang out with him for life. Snarkishark83 says. Staying out of guilt or pity is not a healthy or sustainable approach to a relationship. You both deserve better. If you stay, that guilt will erode into resentment and you could end up hating him and yourself for staying. Wicked Bunnix3 says. Just do it. If you want it or thinking it. Then do it just tell him you want to break it off and leave. Parking Mortgage 8821 says. End before something new is created. Wulen Kadeva says. Break up. If it's meant to be you will do the work independently and find your way back to each other. If not, you'll find other people. The right the thing to do is break up now and get your head right. Anything else is messy. Therefore Alien says. You deserve to be happy, and he also deserves someone who wants to be with him. Break up, avoid prolonging the agony. Erectionis Alertioni says. If you've had a conversation in the past where you pour your heart out, and he swears he'll change, and you've got to do that more than once, honey. He won't change. He had the chance to and he didn't. What you're basically telling him is, that you're willing to put up with him ignoring what you want and need out of the relationship and he can do whatever he wants. He can do the bare minimum, and you'll put up with it. 
it's natural to feel bad or guilty about hurting another person. Ask yourself why he doesn't feel guilty for ignoring your needs and making you feel bad. Mraswid18 says. His mental health is not your problem. Read that as many times as it takes. If it's not working for you, or bringing you joy, it needs to be over, sooner than later. A friend for help too says. If you think this is not working for you after all this time, I think you should move on. Stephen Hyde says. Just do it. End the relationship. You'll feel better eventually. Ginger Bieber says. He said he will change before. If he wanted to put effort into the relationship and connecting with you, he would. He has shown through his actions that you are not a priority. You are dating the man he is now, not his potential. Breaking up with someone does not mean that they are a bad person, it just means that this relationship is not for you. Breakups are not pleasant, but the kindest thing you can do for both of you is to make it calm and decisive. This relationship is not working for me. It's over. Give yourself the chance to find the true connection with someone who will love you like you deserve to be loved. Ed and Elizabeth 27 says. Unfortunately, this story is quite common in terms of them saying they will make changes, but never do. Women tend to emotionally check out after a good enough amount of time, and once that happens, it seems to be difficult to go back. He may just have to learn the hard way this one, and this will also teach you about whether staying after they don't make the changes the first time. Oftentimes, when the changes don't happen immediately after expressing them, they are unlikely to happen. Of course, there is always a chance they will have a come to Jesus moment, but even if so, can you manage being happy in the relationship knowing it took you almost leaving for him to care? You can find someone who puts in more effort, do not fall for the sunk cost fallacy. This may be what's best for both of you. He is clearly not being the best version of himself, and you are suffering because of it. Put yourself first. I know it is hard, and that you probably love him, but love isn't enough for relationships to work long term. Good luck. R slash relationships. Min 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 2461 says. Me, 19F, and my sister, 20F, found out my dad is maybe cheating on my mom. My dad, 55 meters, and my mom, 49F have been married for 25 years. So my sister was scrolling on his phone, and found out a picture of him with a lady, the picture was somewhat couplish, which were later deleted by him. She snooped his Instagram, and found out that lady's account, on which she has photos of her in my dad's car. My sister kept to herself about this for further confirmation. So my dad has his business in another city, where he usually goes, and lives there for a day or two to oversee the operations. This time he was not calling as usual, so my sister got curious, and saw that later stories which were nearer to that city in my dad's car again. And also my dad is not taking FaceTime calls, he has turned off his location from find my phone. After this she told me, and now we both are devastated and confused. We have that picture and screen recordings of her recent Instagram story. My mother is a working woman and she really works hard. I'm really worried about my mom. My mom is unaware about this. We are also close with our dad so should we confront him, or tell about this to our mom first? What are we supposed to do? Too long, didn't read, me and my sister found out my dad is cheating on my mom, what do we do? True Chocolate 8760 says. Definitely tell your mom, it's not fair, that he's cheating on her, when. She finds out she will probably want to get a divorce, and then she can start over, and meet someone new herself. Tell her. Reaperhan7218 says. It's time to call in the dogs girls. P.I.S. Are expensive, but you tailing him is way cheaper. Get an air tag or a GPS and plant it on him, his car, briefcase etc. Or all. Find out the truth, 
take screenshots of her insta, find put where she is, who she is, and where she works, if she's also married and so on. Ask your friends to tell him, and let him do as he does. Pictures are great, and after you get the proof, take it to your mother and let her deal with it. As for your mother, I'd tell her to file for divorce ASAP, after talking to a lawyer, and start saving money now, split their accounts with as little info for him to follow then the day he gets served, make sure the house locks are changed, and have a RO. Place to keep him away. I hate a cheater, no matter the gender, burn his world to the ground, and walk away. And make damn sure the app's world gets it as well. Kotemajuran says. Maybe your mother already knows. Prestigious Bar 5385 says. Could be that your mom already knows, so I tell your mom and let her handle it. Sometimes people stay with cheaters out of convenience. Altruistic Pause 6375 says. I'm so sorry you and your sister are going through this. It must feel awful, especially since you're close to your dad and don't want to hurt your mom. This is a really tough situation to be in. Keeping something like this a secret could end up causing more pain in the long run, even though I know you're trying to protect everyone. Maybe the best first step is to talk to your dad privately, just the two of you. Give him the chance to explain what's going on before making any decisions. After that, you can figure out how to move forward. Your mom deserves to know the truth, especially since she works so hard and probably has no idea this is happening, but it's important to think about how and when you tell her. None of this is easy, but being honest might be the best way to handle it. Eats with the spork says. You tell your mom. You don't have to scream, he's cheating, you can tell your mom that you found something that looks suspect and let her deal with it. Chill Wisdom says. Tell your mom and don't tell your dad that you told her because she needs to get a lawyer and get all her ducks in a row before her dad knows she found out about his mistress. Ravenhouse Reaper says. Step up, go tell your mom, she deserves to know, then let her handle it. Just don't forget to be at her side. Soft Childer 313 says. Don't go to your dad. This will give him time to cover his tracks, come up with a good story and possibly call you and your sister liars. Go to your mother, show her everything, and let her handle it. Tell her that you love her and will support her. If it were me, I would want to know. She should also get tested and find a divorce lawyer whether she takes that route or not she should know her options. Yakus on G12 says. Tell your mom, give her the scene should CTC. And let her handle this. She should get tested too. Bookrider 123 says. You go to your mom and tell her what you found out and that you think he is cheating but you are not sure and let your mom handle this. It's not your guess job to do anything about it but being honest. Your dad if he is cheating, is in the wrong here nobody else. I. Clear Hellated 01 says. You and your sister take all this to your mom and let her handle it. She's a grown woman, she takes care of her own marriage. And, if your dad die a cheating, the fallout from you telling your mother is not your fault. r slash relationships 0 0 says gf lied about where she was then i found out she was alone in her car with her ex last week my 22 male gf 22 female of three months and i were on feet together and things were normal before she suddenly started acting weird she then said she had to go help a friend move stuff before hoping in her car and going she brought me with her on fr until just before she got to her destination, before hanging up I didn't hear of her again for 2 hours. When she called back she was holding back tears, and when I asked her about it, she started crying and saying about how her friend said so many nice things about her to build her confidence, and how they were on a walk together, and that's why she didn't reply. Now I knew at the time she wasn't on a walk, but was in fact in her car parked on. 
a very quiet road as we both have love 360 together, but despite the inconsistencies I never pressed the issue. On Sunday I found out via seeing a text pop up on her phone that she had actually met her ex and was alone with him in the car. There were also texts of them sexting a little. Him mainly but she didn't try and stop it and just sort of replied cookie cutter answers. Most of their messages were on snapchat which I couldn't see, so I have no idea how long it's been going on for. When I questioned her about it, she denied it until I gave her concrete evidence I knew. Before getting mad telling me to just leave her then, if I didn't trust her. Eventually she cried a bit called herself various hateful words but promised. She didn't do what I think they done, and he was just looking money. Her ex was abusive and manipulative, she is now very remorseful, and has showed me she's blocked him, but at this stage I don't know what to believe, and what not to- This morning I caught her in another lie over something, that was of no importance so, if she lies about things like that then is it even possible to rebuild trust? I don't want to leave her, and things before this have literally been perfect, but I just don't know what to think. I wish she would just be honest, and I have no idea what's true and what's not true anymore. Too long, didn't read, GF lied about where she was turned out, to be in a car alone with her ex then lied when confronted about. Fran Pua 1 says. I don't even understand why the two of you had the life 360 on each other to begin with before this happened. Do you not trust each other? Halas 4 Ev says. Dude. Tell her if she's serious write down all interactions with X, since you guys became a couple. Then give her space for a few days. Don't talk to her. When she comes back with it, tell her before you read it, you'll give her a few more days to revise it, as you'll start checking with other people including the X about it. Walk away and wait a few days again. Then read what she's written. Ask her questions. Go talk to the X. Tell him he can have her if he wants. That you're kind of done but want closure. At this point you should be able to get the full story. And Mew without Mittowl says. You're so young, you're only 22. It's only been 3 months. Do you really want to live with this drama? Is it worth it? Luowuji says. Bro it's been 3 months. Specialist FX 77 says. Three months in, and she already lied and cheated, even if not physically. Just leave. There's no need to give any chances to her. Please, listen to this. Don't convince yourself things could be different. They will most definitely not change. Just leave her. Eats with the spork says. The regret is from getting caught. You can choose to stay with a proven liar and possibly cheat her or you can stand up for yourself and move on to bigger and better things. Southland Max says. It's been three months. Move on and accept this as a learning experience. Davy Jones Locker says. Think about what they were doing in that car. Now go break up with her. It's too early in a relationship. She might be great in other ways, but you deserve better. Vast response 3941 says. Leave her bro. I know it's hard. But you've got your whole life ahead of you man. Brian Sankasing says. People are generally weak minded when it comes to sex and can be even more so when it's an ex involved. A good rule of thumb to avoid having to make a decision to cheat on the person you're with is to never let yourself get into a situation with someone else, especially your ex, that might lead to sex. Even if this was innocent, and she's telling the truth she put herself in a compromising situation and she lied about it. She's got some thinking to do about where she wants to go from here, because your relationship is young, and she's already damaged the trust. You also have some thinking to do about whether she's worth fighting for. Whether you can work together to help rebuild that trust. If you decide to stay, whether you can put this aside and not judge her for it in the future. So sorry that you're going through this. Good luck. Anything Buta Lives says. Girlfriend of 3 months is already lying and probably cheating on you. 
It's only been 3 months walk away from this relationship. The flags are red and waving loud and proud right now. Respect Tyan says. Not as much of an ex as you first believed then. Creative Soul Musings says. Personally I would not trust her. Life 360 can glitch, but was it consistently on a quiet road for 2 hours? If it was like a second then glitched back to normal I wouldn't question it. But if you saw the texts, and they were flirty then yes I wouldn't trust her after that. Fragrant Spray says. Leave me if you don't trust me. Nope, frick, all that noise, she lied to you, and ran through the bag of tricks trying to find a way out. You're only 3 months in, and you've already seen who she is. This is someone who will definitely cheat on you. If you take her back, she'll just know she has to hide it better. Incognita throwaway 1A says. Just break up she's a liar it's only been 3 months not worth it. Missile says. Dude she's not over her ex, and you're only 3 months into this. She lied to you about where she was going who was going to see, and what she was doing. Do you really want to have to wonder where she is, and who she's with all the time? Completed 5483 says. I think you already know what you should do. It's okay to walk away, she was the one that showed her true intentions. Right now you are acting as her enabler. If you think things can still work out, keep seeing her. But again I think you already know what you should do. Comprehensive ad 6396 says. Just kick her out your life. She is know who you are, and your character and her character, but she's like chatting with that ugly character person. In future definitely you will get best loyal life partner in that time she's lost good human being and beautiful life. Salty Dog 2144 says. You don't know what is true or not with her anymore? Mate, it's time to go. Last Friend 6350 says. I think you're the side piece. It's been 3 months and she's sexting, meeting up with him, and denying it, until you showed her you knew where she really was. When someone also tells you lies about unimportant things, when there's absolutely no need to, it shows you that lying is an ongoing habit they cannot stop. There's nothing worth saving here. Let them continue in their abusive relationship, while you move on and find someone who won't lie and cheat behind your back. r slash relationships user 383,748,283 says my 21 female boyfriend 23 male said another girl's name in bed so here's the deal i've been dating my boyfriend for three years now we met in college and just recently i moved away from everything i've ever known to chicago to be with him we were long distance my senior year of college when we met he had a female rumored well called Sarah 24 female. Me and Sarah got along super well, bonded over our mutual dislike over the other girlfriend in their college apartment, and have been friend essentially the entire time I've known my boyfriend. Another important note is, she is a lesbian. Sarah and my boyfriend are also very close and there has never been anything remotely romantic between them the entire time I've known them. They just have super similar personalities, raging at and some mischievous tendencies, and of course get along super well. This past weekend, he went to go visit her in her hometown, she moved there after college and it's about 4 hours away from us. He spent 2 nights there, and was back yesterday. He never told me specifically, but there was only one bed at her place, and when I asked where he was sleeping he explained they shared it, while he stayed there, no spooning or anything he compared it to siblings sharing a bed. This is something they did in college, and was fine with then, but I was a little bothered by it now. I didn't say anything outright, but he picked up my discomfort on it, and reassured me, that it's just Sarah, and I felt silly for even thinking anything of it. When he got back yesterday, I was obviously very excited to see him, and after we ate the tequila that I brought over ended up having sex. I ended up giving him head near the end, and it was then, that this whole mess started. 
He moaned and I mean moaned her name while I was giving him head. I keep going for a few seconds as I try to make sense of this because surely I had misheard him. And he then confirms it by going omg did I just say Sarah? At which point I stop, sit there a little dazed, and he goes into apology overload and tries to explain why. I'm in no place to hear explanations and I go sit in the bathroom with the water running for 15 minutes then end up leaving his apartment. I sit in the stairwell for about an hour before coming back to yell at him. He ends up convincing me to stay but I'm still a little shocked and upset and don't know what to do. He claims what happened was he was a little distracted during and was wondering if he had taken his meds which lead to him thinking about if he had grabbed his meds from Sarah's which is why he said her name slash was thinking about her. And I get that, I've also had times where my mind wanders like that. But I've never moaned someone else's name. He swears up and down that there was nothing sexual going on in any way between him and Sarah, has never thought about her in any sort of romantic or sexual way etc etc. And before this I've never had any reason to believe him. Of course I know there's nothing going on on her side. But I dk. I just don't want to be naked or do anything sexual with him. I'm not interested in a sexless relationship, so how do I proceed from here? Has anyone in a similar situation have any advice? I love my boyfriend and I want to move past this. Please advise. Too long, didn't read, my boyfriend said the name of mutual friend while I was giving him head after spending the weekend with her. Is this relationship toast? Edit, Sarah is a lesbian. Confirmed lesbian. No she is not having a secret affair with my boyfriend. The question is not has my straight CI's male boyfriend taken a lesbian lover? It's maybe does he have a crush on her? But more importantly I'm seeking advice on how to overcome my mental hurdle with being naked and being touched in a sensual way by him. Any suggestions that sh secretly straight will be? Flynn JM says. Info, how did they become roommates? Jkikoni says. He has been boning Sarah for quite a while. Relax and do not overthink it. Calling your current with name of your ex is normal. No I'm confused says. I think wondering if he has a crush is natural and something to talk about. I know I personally have a bad habit of letting my mind think about stuff mid-act, like stuff I got to turn in for work, the appointment I have tomorrow, etc. It seems like something similar might have happened to him. Nevertheless Sarah herself is not an aggressor, and though cheating, can certainly be ruled out. A crush is still a little weird. Sometimes relationships from college are made to be just that, relationships from college. You have so much ahead of you, and just because this one chapter seems to be ending in a way you don't love. Doesn't mean the next chapter will be the same. 59 Flower Pots says. Just wanted to give my perspective, I have a bad habit of saying random names. It's usually someone I talk to that day, but not necessarily someone I've been with. But especially when I'm put on the spot to say their name, any name will come out lol. As you can imagine, it doesn't always end well, so I try to avoid names and just use things like baby. The Inquisition says. I think you are trying to salvage feelings that you should be letting go of, he gave you the Ike. Dubgoblin87 says. Understandable why you'd feel anxious. Just to give some perspective. Some months after I broke up with my ex, I was having sex with this girl and my eyes had wandered over to a gift that my ex had bought me in my room. I randomly moaned her name and the girl understandably was kind of taken aback. 1000% I wasn't thinking about my ex in any sexual manner or even a positive light when that happened. It was simply because my mind wandered and saw something that reminded me of her. So it's possible he did the same. So I'd just swallow this and let it slide. However if it does happen again or anything else sus occurs I'd definition go from there. Hope this helped. Eris Olsp says. You're probably overreacting. You get used to saying someone's name in a sort of muscle memory way. 
especially as an exclamation. He's knowing her longer than, and said her name way more often than he said yours. You're not wrong to feel what you feel cause it sucks. But try not to read into it while you're still reeling. It could mean something, and it could not. For context, I've begun to say an ex's name while in an argument with my then girlfriend once. Lucky her name started with a J, so I could play it off like I was gonna say just. You would never argue that I fantasize about arguing with that ex though. New Tooth This Pluck 3 says Two nights, same bed, another woman, don't. Be delusional. Sarah is not a frick and lesbian and he made the choice to sleep in same bed as her not once but twice moaning her name is disgusting you know what to do shiftish elector says honestly at first i was going to suggest that maybe it was just an accident as he had recently spent time with her brains are funny but the dramatic moaning of her name and insistence on acknowledging it omg leak did i just say sarah has me thinking he actually did this on purpose what a weirdo i'd leave him kirina superkle says you're not overreacting i'd be over it immediately if my bf said another woman's name while i gave him head there is no excuse for that a friend for help too says at 21 if you are seeing red flags just move on String Aggressive 6959 says. I did the same thing to my mana backslash few backslash times. I felt like a goddamn fool. Not during sex, but during intimate moments. Please forgive him. Cause I'm just a little ditzy, and I have no idea why that happened. Electrical Table 958 says. If you are absolutely sure they didn't have sex, there is no reason for this relationship to be toast. His explanation could also be the truth, especially because he has raging and... I have had very awkward situations myself which would be considered even more random. So I think maybe you are overreacting, but it's understandable for sure. Scorpio General 13 says... I've called my both of my parents baby on accident, after being with my fink for a long time. Complete accident. Maybe something to take into consideration haha, especially if he was just with her for a long time. During sex is weird though. Blagatsnikatak says. TBH, I'm more bothered by the fact he let you sit out in the stairwell by yourself for an hour. Carola Baskinspana says. So take this for whatever it's worth, but I have out and the way he explained it sounds exactly like something I would do. I sometimes say the wrong word slash names in conversation for the exact reason he laid out, I'm in my own head jumping from thought, to thought at rapid speed, and while I can normally quiet them, and stay within the confines of the conversation, sometimes they leak out. I live in complete fear of one day calling my wife by the wrong name in conversation. Not during sex though but that's mostly, just because I don't moan her name during sex. On some level I think I don't do it for this very reason. SMH. R slash relationships. Greenad8072 says. Friend won't return my switch. I 26 female, lived with my friend 27 female, for about a year up until a month ago. During that time we had gotten pretty close, and I had no problem sharing stuff with each other. I'm a pretty big gamer and my friend games some as well. When she mentioned that she had interest in playing the new Zelda for the Switch, I offered to let her borrow my game and Switch to play it. That was in February slash March, I've packed up my whole life and moved into my partner, 28 meters, of 3 years, house since. During packing I didn't receive it back, or see it anywhere. I've asked all of my roommates who lived with us, if they've seen my switch anywhere, and they've said no. She has been quiet and unresponsive, when I've brought it up, I had thought maybe she gave it back, and I just can't remember, and I lost it, but she hasn't said anything, will not reply to our group chat when I ask. 
I have put over $1000 into my Switch and the games I own for it. I'm not sure how to get my Switch back, or even get her to answer me. Too long, didn't read, I 26 female, let my 27 female friend borrow my Switch months ago, have not seen it since, and she will not answer me if she has it, or will give it back. Want to play Mario Kart, and not sure how to navigate getting it back from me. Carrotman5425 says. She might have sold it, communicate in no uncertain terms, that you expect to have it returned. If she doesn't return it, or pay you back take her to small claims. Bounty Kisses says. Try reaching out one more time with a clear, direct message, stating that you need the switch returned, and expressing that it's important to you. If she remains unresponsive, consider setting a deadline for when you expect it back. I. Fluffy K says. Steal something valuable of hers and act as if it's just gone missing. The implication that you have it will be big enough for her to realize it's you without any evidence. But she can't prove it. She might just admit on her own that she has it and make the trade. Greenad8072 says. Just sent her a direct message. Thank you everyone for the feedback and advice. Veridan1 says. Life lesson most people learn in their teens. Don't loan out more than you are willing to lose. For me personally, I cap at dollar sign 20 100 depending on my relationship with the person. I would recommend you implement this kind of restriction on loan or borrowing out stuff or money to people. Going Prosef or Home says. Does she reply when you talk to her about other things though? Sweddle says. Tell her you are reporting it stolen if it's not returned. Helen Destroys says. If she won't admit to it, you might have just learned an experience lesson. Do you have any proof you lent it to her? Malevolent Mango says. Go to where she lives and ask. If she isn't responding to texts then this is the next step. Radioactive Robert says. I loaned all my games to a friend, who I had gotten a Switch for for Christmas. They broke up with their ex, and left the games and switched behind when moving out in a hurry. He sold them all, because of a fight they got into, over something said prior to them even dating. Friend does not have the money to pay me back, and hasn't made even the smallest effort to do so. All you can do is keep asking. Maybe, you'll get it back. Brotiger87 says. If there's no game activity then it sounds like she lost or broke it. Relink Mandel says. You literally haven't even just asked her for it back lol. WTF is this post. Just ask for it back. She's your friend. It's not a big deal. Greenad8072 says. Would also like to add, I have asked her in person as well, and brought up not finding my switch anywhere multiple times since moving, and she didn't say anything then either. It's very suspicious to me. Giving it to her was the last time I had seen it. Gunternum says. You tell her to give it back, or you'll call the police. Bekala says. 1. Report your switch is stolen. You can go to the police and file a report. This may be enough to nudge your friend into fessing up slash giving it back. In any case, it may be helpful to have the report for small claims court. 2. Deactivate the switch as your primary console. You should be able to do this on the website, but if you have trouble, you can contact Nintendo support. 3. If you bought your games on the eShop, they aren't lost for good. If you get a different switch, and designate that one as the primary console for your account, you can re-download the games. Your save data won't transfer, but the games can. I'm really sorry this happened. That sucks. Ruiner9 says. I would reach out, in the group chat or privately, and say hey, I've asked you to return the switch several times now, and I haven't gotten a response. I'm really sad that you seem to have chosen a video game console over our friendship. 
If you would like to return it, I'd be happy to accept it and carry on as normal. If you've lost or damaged it and are embarrassed to say so, I'm sure we can work something out. If you choose not to respond, it unfortunately means I feel we no longer have mutual respect for each other and I will have to end our friendship. Put it all in her court and see what she does. Ginger Lorax says. Have you asked her directly to give it back to you? I would say hey, I know I lent you my switch earlier this year I need it back now, so please find and return it to me immediately. Anyway Waruasi says. Possibly small claims court? Omgasm B says. I think you can view game activity on your Nintendo account. If they played specific games you own then you may be able to see the times and days when they did. R slash relationships. Throra Tabasca Love says. My BF44 male has started accusing me 38 female of doing things that I didn't do and it's making me question my own reality. Am I overreacting? My boyfriend 44 male and I 38 female have been together of and on for 8 years. At the beginning of our relationship, I found out he and his ex GF were back living with each other. He was a almost a serial cheater. I forgave him and thought we could move forward, but he would never commit to me meeting his family, including his son and his mother, before she passed away almost 2 years ago. Up until March of this year he has been messing around with his ex. And now that he isn't he accuses me of cheating. The accusations came out of nowhere, he started accusing me of having a relationship with a male family friend, like a sexual relationship, which would never happen. While we were split, I guess he followed me to a bar, where I met my male family friend. I needed someone to talk to. I have been so lonely, and felt like a part time GF to my BF. He said he seen us making out and him rubbing my back. I would never make out with him, and he sure wouldn't rub my back so that's impossible. He's been a family friend for a very long time. There has been a couple. Of times we would do a hug by and quick peck on lips by. But nothing more than that. But my BF was convincing, in accusing us of making out, that I started to wonder if we did, but I know we didn't. He has driven by my house, and accused me having another guy over when no one has been there. Thag he saw oil stains in my driveway. But he is so convincing, that I start believing, that maybe someone was there I just don't remember. He would ask me questions with accusations, and when I start to speak he immediately tells me I'm lying then hangs up in my face. He says that I say things that I didn't say, or he'll twist what I say to make me question myself. I'm going crazy and starting to question my own sanity. But then he says that I'm playing with his head. Too long, didn't read, I don't know what to do. If I tell him I'm going to the store and I end up going to the store and the gas station, he accuses me of lying because I only told him the store. I'm so mentally drained, but yet I feel guilty. Should I feel guilty? GH00 Algerol says. So. He's been a piece of shit and horrible boyfriend for 8 years now, and you're surprised that this is happening? Ktofix says. Why are you dealing with this? Fun Reporter 8905 says. Why are you with him after everything he put you through? Why are you still there? Honey and Comb says. Please 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 leave this man, he is no good, and will not change. I can only imagine how much he's beaten you down emotionally, that you have put up with this behavior so far. Luckily you live separately, so there's no complicated finances. I understand you've been together for a long time and it's hard to leave, but you could toss a stone, and probably hit a nicer chapter. Balletbud says. I think when people get bored they gaslight for fun. Or when they hate their lives it makes them feel smart and life is interesting, the only issue is you sanity is at stake. If you cannot gaslight back, I don't recommend this, or aren't the type to then get out of it. Be alone and build a very strong orality of what you believe in. 
respond to him with boredom, cause he is boring. Gaslighting may feel sort of exciting to them so take the fun put of it. Yawn in his dumb face and make more money and focus on your life. When you feel able to run. Softjelda313 says. You're hopefully X is projecting hard. In his mind, if he has the capacity to cheat so do you. He's mentally abusing you. Drop his crazy cheating butt. Is this how you want to live the rest of your life? Because it's never going to end especially at his age, and with no consequences. TB0904 says. You have wasted 8 whole years on a cheater and liar. Do not waste another second. Let this garbage go. Seriously, if this was your daughter or your best friend, you would be begging her to leave, and be happy finally. So I'm begging you, as a total stranger, please go and be happy. 71223 says. Dude, this is abuse. Stop seeing him. Mr. Meat 101 says. I hate to give you bad news, but he's still cheating. It sounds like you're the side piece. I bet his real GF, who he's also cheating on, with you, has met his family. He's also gaslighting you which is highly abusive. What you do, is pull your head out of the sand and end the relationship. Walk away. Get a new plan. Set yourself free. Mudshaka Mix says. Why do I keep reading these posts about terrible men? Leave him already. Nofristing 686 says. This is gaslighting, it's not even subtle. Get rid of this jerk. Tarcherajum says. Why the frick are you putting yourself through this? This asshole is a serial cheater. He's probably still cheating on you. Now he's harassing you about cheating. Probably projection. Either way, your relationship is crap and this guy is a piece of shit. You're stupid for not breaking up and being completely done with this dude already. At this point, it doesn't seem like anything he does will make you leave, so I don't know why you're bothering to ask for advice. Just continue being a pathetic little dormant. Leathermap8138 says. How can this be for real? Why would you not have left long ago, severing all access by this person? And been on the road to recovery a while ago. Ekja2010 says. Is your self-worth and self-esteem so low, that you honestly think you can't do better, or deserve better than this man? You've been putting up with these shanigans for 8 years now already. Please learn to love yourself, and move on and find someone who lifts you up, and will remain faithful to you. I promise that isn't asking a lot he's accusing Ipu of all these things, because in his mind he cannot comprehend, that Isomian can be loyal. RTLG says. TBH I quit reading after your opening line of when we first started he lived back with his ex come on. Just as a redit again says. Dump him. Like why are you even with him? This is next level crazy. Why stay with someone who clearly doesn't trust you, even when you've done nothing wrong? This is like gaslighting, and manipulation and emotional abuse. It's some kind of wrong. My soon to be ex-husband watched me have a mental breakdown thinking I was losing my mind. I'm over here getting therapy, and calling suicide hotlines, because he made me think there was something wrong with me, and what I was thinking and saying. Fricker was cheating on me and everything I suspected was true. Don't put up with anyone who makes you feel crazy. I'd quit him doing 19 says. This person treats you really really badly. I'm sorry but it doesn't sound like he's ever treated you well. I'm not really sure what's worth staying for here. Cold Strategy 1420 says. He is a cheater. Cheaters quite commonly accuse their partners of cheating. I think he is cheating with someone new. He has treated you like a side piece. You don't bring a side piece around your family. Jerlene says. As a toxic twat, he's projecting. 
he's also insecure, and probably has actually convinced himself that these things are true, so it's going to be difficult to convince him otherwise. If you don't want to deal with the constant accusations, I suggest moving on, or drawing a very clear, but very thin line for him. No ifs, ands or buts. It is what it is, and you're done, if he continues with the bullshit. It can get better, but if he's convinced himself of these things, it'll still be on his mind and he'll start right back up with the accusations. Either leave him, or somehow prove to him that he's wrong. Have this family friend tell him, if that's what it takes. But any change without the proof, that he desires, will only be temporary. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.